Hi everyone! In today's video I'll show you how to spot a fake Russian shawl. For example, if you are going to Russia as a tourist one day, you may want to buy a Russian shawl as a souvenir. Stores for tourists are full of different shawls. You can find plenty on the internet. So many opportunities and so many temptations. How to know if it's a real traditional Russian shawl or just a cheap fake from China? I will show you all the details and you will be able to spot the fake one by yourself. If you don't know me yet, my name is Elena. Welcome to my channel How to Tie a Scarf. The first thing you need to pay attention is a store tag. Here is a real store tag. Usually it consists of two or three cards. It can be white, rose or burgundy, not other colors. On the top card we always, always have the full manufacturer name. It's written Pavlovo Pasatska Scarf Manufactory. Now let's see this label. You should have a rose here. The official name of the manufactory address and website. Here is written pearly woolen scarf with a silk fringe. Some information about colors, wool 100%, care instruction, technical information, size and quality, barcode. On the other side we see the name of the design, the name of the artist, number of pattern and color, item number quality and barcode. That was the real one. Now let's see fakes. You see by yourself. The name of manufacturer is wrong. On the second label it's less information, no address, no barcode. A lot of lot of fakes have these uh, kind of labels. The second thing you should look at is the care label. Here is a real one. We see the website name, composition of the fabric and it's made in Russia. Here is the fake one, just composition of the fabric and care information. Another thing to pay attention is the fringe, if you have it. The real Russian scars have two types of fringe. It can be wool or viscose. For some reason, a uh, manufacturer call it silk or synthetic silk, but in uh, reality it, it, it's a viscose that look like silk. It can look like this, or for more expensive shawls, it can be knitted to a net. The fringe is attached by machine and the distance is always equal. Some fakes have similar looking fringe, but the distance would be unequal. Let's see it on the pictures. Here are some variations of fringe on fakes. See the difference? Another variation of fringe on fake shawls could be like this. Nothing to do with the real. Now let's have a look at the pattern. First, all wool shawls designed after 2008 must have this stamp, a rose. Unfortunately, I see very realistically looking fakes that have this stamp too. Now let's have a look at the pattern. Each color on the real scarves is printed separately. It gives us this beautiful volume and detailed, very realistic looking flowers. Many fine details. Now let's compare it to this scarf. See the difference? No volume, less details. Thank you. 
some stores have only fake shawls, but sometimes the real and fakes can be sold at the same store. Frustrating, right? Now let's talk about sizes and prices. Here are the factory prices for different sizes, and you need to pay attention to the size as well. Here are standard sizes for real shawls. If you see, for example, 120 by 120 centimeters or 140 by 140 centimeters uh, shawl, assume it's fake. Some fakes are very well done with exact copy of the pattern. A friend of mine, a collector of real Russian shawls, told me that even a very, very good fake cannot compete with the quality of the real Russian shawl. Now let's talk about the composition of the fabric. The real Pavlova Passat wool scarf are made only 100% wool. It can be never be 18% of wool and 20% of polyester or viscose. And the reality is that in a fake scarf there is no wool, it's a polyester. If you like this video, then please give me a like, subscribe to my channel where you will find plenty more fresh ideas to, for you to try and check those videos, you may like it too. And let me know in the comment section below what kind of video tutorials you would like to see in the future. See you next time! Bye!